So about five years ago, I hosted a radio show. And in the midst of that, I had this inspiration and I wanted to work with younger kids. So uh, I went to a local boys and girls club and I put together this program called The Frequency of the Future. And every week I met with these kids, about middle school aged, uh, for six weeks. And at the end of six weeks, they actually had created their own radio broadcast, which was really cool. So they got an opportunity to tell me what was up in their world. Uh, they knew all about mine, but I didn't know anything about theirs and what was important to them. So once that was very, very successful, I decided I wanted to take it where kids were having a harder time and um, they didn't have the advantages that those other kids had had and they were actually kind of discarded by society and their family and those around them and it was rough, but I thought, you know, those are some kids that really need to be heard. So it took about a year of like banging on doors and sending emails and trying to make connections and get my foot in the door to get this program to these kids. And finally, when it was right ready to launch, they said to me, well, you know, we'll let you do this, but we kind of need to have you in here every single Saturday. And I thought, oh my gosh, Saturday, that's a tough one because I do other things and that could get in the way of that. But Boy, I was so invested. I really, really wanted to do this with these kids. So I said, yeah, okay, I'll give you my Saturdays. I just wanted to make it work. And then right after that, somebody got involved and the whole thing all unplugged and got shut down. And I grieved. And I realized I was so, so invested in what was going to happen with this. I told her, everybody I knew about it you know I talked to some of the kids about it I was so excited to make it happen and then when it didn't it was like losing so many hopes and dreams and expectations right so it took a while to get past that and as we fast forward to today I'm like working on this project and it's moving really slow and I'm really struggling and all of a sudden I remembered this whole conversation with the radio show program and those kids and I realized that part of why I'm not moving forward at probably the pace that I would normally do is because I didn't want to, I didn't want to fail again. And then I realized this isn't about me and Terry failing. I'm here to reach out and touch a whole bunch of lives. And I can't let something like that get in the way of what I'm really supposed to be doing here. 